Hello, this is Lambda Rock, and I want to show you how to plant trees, stop the trees and the foliage in general from uh, bouncing up and down, and how to use the particle system to make it more lively. So go to your asset browser, select models and search for tree 3A. This plants a beautiful large tree and you can simply drag it where you want to have it. You can transform it and place it, um, fine tune uh, where it stays. And now you have already a tree which is moving in the wind. The problem here is when you compile your map and play test it, you will see that sometimes the tree bounces up and down. So it disappears in the ground or flies above the ground and moves up and down. Um, to stop this, you could do either, um, so first mark it, go into the properties with Alt Enter um, and search in the render properties for the skin. There are mostly different skins. There's winter, autumn, no motion, and winter, no motion. If you select no motion, the tree won't, won't bounce up and down. This is also for the most of the foliage, the case. Um, but some foliage or trees, they do not have this, um, this option for the skin. And um, in addition, it does not look very lively uh, when, when you have a simple static tree there. Um, it should move a bit to to uh, liven up this this whole uh, thing. So I select default, let it move in the wind. And under the same um, thing, render properties, you will find one option is called bake lightning. Um, go and select no. Um, with this, you stop all the tree and the foliage from bouncing up and down and um, you can have the movement here. So this now looks um, pretty much uh, lively, but we want to use the particle system to um, introduce the event of falling leaves. So for this, go to your entity um, tool and search for particle. You want to have info particle target. Now place this to every point you want um, leaves falling down. So for example, one is here and one is here. I select simply three of those. Um, so I have maybe here another one. Yes. Now go into your select tool and select each of them and give them a unique name. For example, target um, leaves 01. I just copy this for the other ones. Here is select this target leaves zero, and this is target leaves two. Right now, you need a particle system that defines uh, which kind of leaves fall down. So for this, go back to your entity um, tool and search again for particle. And now select Info Particle System. Put this somewhere, it doesn't matter. And give it some name. For example, Particle System Leaves um, underscore 01. So if you have more, more than one tree and you need more than uh, this particle system. Go to your um, select tool and with Alt Enter, um, go into the properties. You need this window here, um, it is more convenient here. Um, select control point zero, um, use the, the um, name picker here and select your first target. Then go to control point one and select your next target and go to control point uh, two, select the last one here. Oh, wait, there it is. So now you have the system here and the locations from, from which they um, 
they should fall, you now have to give your particle system a name. So this defines which kind of particles will fall down. Go into the search um, window, search for leaves and select the leaf that you want to have. For example, this one here. And you have another option here. If you have a rather small map, you can opt for start active. So as soon as the player spawns, these three leaves will fall down to the ground. And um, if you don't want to have that, you, maybe you have some um, interior levels and just a short uh, exterior and you don't want to let the trees uh, leaves fall down you have to use some kind of a trigger so you can say start active falls uh, maybe create a trigger somewhere um, when the player touches that trigger um, or sees this tree then um, you activate this particle system for this you of course have to give it a name um, and you can um, use the particle system leaves underscore one there so I will opt for start this active and that's it. And in, in addition, I want to make the impression that some leaves have already been fallen to the ground. So I go into my set browser on models and search for leaves. Those look good. I will just place some around the uh, tree here using the transform and um, tool and when I press shift I automatically uh, copy them. But I think there is a still a better option here. This looks like a lot of tree leaves. This make it look a bit more um, lively. All right. So when we now we now press shift and O to um, remove all the or to exclude all the the editor only properties here or entities um, so we can have a better look at it um, i want to press f6 to see how the light situation so is so sh just a short preview here and this looks all already very good so thank you for listening